today I dreamed a lot. Today my dreams came true. Everything my life is, it's all because of you. Because of you. Yesterday was empty. Today my life is full. Everything my life is because of your gentle pull. Your gentle. in Jesus. You may know that my name is Jacob and I'm here in the Philippines at our children's mission in Olongapo near Subic Bay. We're so grateful to the Lord for the work he's given us with these children. They've been essentially rescued from the local garbage dump. Their parents or families are very poor. They are unable to take care of them. If we don't feed them, they'll go look for something to eat in the rubbish. If we don't clothe them, they'll look for something to wear in the rubbish. The Lord has called us to take up this work with these children, which are always looking to expand. We have a new building with a playground, and we're working towards a school. We're going to have music lessons, computer skills, and looking for full accreditation soon. All of our children have everything they need, from food to medical and dental care to proper clothes and weatherproofing from the monsoon. And so let me show you our children all together. This is our friend and brother, Pastor Paul Seville. He's a local Filipino pastor. He directs the work here with the children along with his wife and his crew. And he does a wonderful job serving Jesus faithfully, taking care of these children and teaching them about the gospel of Jesus. This is Pastor Paul Seville. We have such a good crew in the Philippines, we don't need to send any missionaries. There's enough saved Christians in the Philippines who are well grounded in scripture and who are doing the work of the Lord locally. All we do is bless and support and help them. Okay. Tayo ay uh, lubos na nagpapasalamat kila Uncle Jacob Ras at saka kay Brother David. So we are all thankful. We are all thankful for the lives of for the lives of uh, Sir J uh, Jacob and Sir David for being here. At uh, sa kanilang pagdalaw sa atin, ay patuloy na pinakikita nila yung kanilang pagmamahal sa atin. Kaya patuloy din tayo na uh, maglingkod sa Panginoon at patuloy tayo magsimba. Dahil iyan ang kanilang, nasa kanilang damdamin na tayo ay mapalapit sa Panginoon. Okay. Um, so um, we are always thankful for them visiting us here during the mission and... For that, we are thankful for the Lord for being in their lives in here. 
and we are continually praising God for moving continually in the midst of this ministry. Kaya sa pasasalamat natin, sabay-sabay tayong magsabi ng Praise the Lord! So of that, we will say, Praise the Lord! This is our friend Doran. We got Doran when he was very little from the rubbish dump. Now, though, he's been here 12 years, and he's a believer in Jesus. He's the way we want to see these children grow up, to know the Lord, to have a proper education, and to, above all, walk in the way of Jesus. Doran! Hello, Uncle Jacob. So, um, <clears throat> actually... Loud. So, no, ano po, uh... Nung 8 years old pa lang ako. Um, Nag-start po ako na pumunta dito. Tapos yung place po namin, doon pa sa maliit na uh, space. So when I was little, I was uh, living in... I was living uh, quite in a uh, place. What place was that? Uh, yung... Yung dati po, meron po kasi yung dating pl place doon sa kabilang side na doon po kami nag Bible study. Nag so we have this old place where we have a Bible study. And uh, doon po kami nag-worship. We worship there. Tapos, yun po yung mga uh, bata po po ako nung 8 years old. That was before I was, I was 8. Okay. Tapos, nung tumagal po, na mga nasa high school na ako, mga grade, grade 7 or grade 8. As time passed by when I was in high school, uh, nagpagawa uh, ng mas malaking place para doon magkaroon ng Bible study and um, worship. Po. Tapos, so they come up with a big place where we together worship in a new place, a big one. Okay. Praise the Lord. Keep following Jesus. Well, I'd like to introduce you to a very special young lady. What's your name? Hi, I'm Juvelin Hana H. Reyes. I'm from Cebu, Philippines. Hi. From Cebu. My father used to live in Cebu. I've been to Cebu. And I know that all the girls from Cebu are very pretty, but they're not all very Christian. And I'm very happy to meet the pretty Christian girl from Cebu. But. I want to know how you became a Christian, about your background, where you came from, and how you came to know Jesus. Yeah, when I was a kid, um, I used to grow in a Catholic family, but um, my parents become Christians when I was uh, seven years old, but then they got separated and the church uh, was somehow bro uh, broken. 
So they got separated when I was seven, eight years old. So uh, from that moment on, um, life was really hard. So I experienced um, eating just one cracker a day. So I used to ask um, food from the neighbors. So I was very, you know, uh, famished and very thin. Um, almost, I, I experienced what the kids here have experienced. Um, it was a very poor life and um, I got nobody. So um, I experienced that for like how many years? So I had no parents because my mom was in somewhere else and my dad was working abroad and my um, brother um, went to drugs and um, alcohol and all that stuff. So I was left alone and I needed to survive at that young age, seven, eight years old, nine, and that took for how many years? So then um, I was um, transferred to my grandmother's house. It was my father's mom. And there I thought life would be better, but then it got worse because I was uh, maltreated. I was, um, I was hurt physically by my aunt and emotionally tortured and mentally tortured. So um, I experienced, um, I tried taking my own life actually at that young age, um, 13, 14 years old. So I cut my wrist and all that and um, got really bloody. But then um, oh, it's, um, it's emotional for me to recall that uh, moment. And um, I didn't know Christ um, during those years because I had no, um, you know, I had no parents. So um, it was uh, very hard, but then um, eventually um, my dad um, found, I, I guess Jesus found my dad, I guess, or Jesus pursued my dad. So um, it, it eventually, um, he eventually got better after the um, separation and um, he found out about my situation that it was really a struggle and um, he found out that my aunt, um, emotionally and uh, physically tortured me so he found out he found that out but it was already too late I was already it was already seven years of torture and um, I didn't think that I'd survive that one because I had nobody and I didn't know Jesus at that time but then my dad got saved and he he actually said to me that uh, it was because of that separation that he actually found Christ it was, that it was because of that trial that um, he truly became a Christian. And so uh, when I was um, 15 years old, he brought me to the church in um, our province in Iligan City. And he explained to me what Christianity is and who Christ is. And then one of our pastors there, um, he asked one of our pastors to, um, um, to help me um, and to ask Jesus to save me. So that day, it, it was February, tw February 28, 2008. I became a Christian, I, I got saved. So it was all, um, it, well, it was that um, testing, because of that testing, it was a bad one, but then God is so good and so gracious because He is just, He always turned bad things into good. So um, that's the, that's the um, turning point of my life. That day I got saved and from, then on, um, every day is better with Jesus, so He's so gracious and I'm so thankful for that. You know, no child should have to grow up in neglect and abuse. There are many abused children all over the world, even the United States, Canada, Britain, Australia. It's a worldwide scourge of Satan that children are abused in different ways, even by their families. But in the third world, poverty compounds it. Having one biscuit to eat a day as a kid growing up, that's no way for a kid to grow up. We don't want to see children go up that way, but we can only do what the Lord allows us to do. Notice in her life what made the difference for her and her family. A saving faith in Jesus. Once he comes into the situation, things change. You know, there are many organizations that began Christian. They began preaching the gospel. They began preaching repentance and salvation. But they degenerated into mere social welfare organizations that no longer preach Jesus. 
Well, we don't want that to happen to us. Yes, we want to feed the hungry. We want to educate the uneducated. We want to help the poor. But the biggest need of any poor person is the same as the biggest need of any wealthy person. Salvation in Jesus. Spiritually, we are all impoverished. We are all poor. Some of us poor materially, but all of us poor spiritually. I thank God for this young sister, and I thank God for the difference Jesus made in her life and in the life of her family. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Well, they used to play in the rubbish, but now, thank Jesus, they play on the swings. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Dear friends, we thank you so much for your prayers and your support for this ministry and others like it. We have a new one being pioneered in India and our work in Africa. We couldn't take care of these children without your prayers and without your support. We don't ask money from anybody but Jesus, and he always meets the need. Suffer the little children unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. These children have been saved out of Roman Catholicism. They've been saved out of all kinds of things, but they're coming to faith in Jesus at a very early age. Thank God, and thank God for your prayers and your goodness to these children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you. Amen. Amen. El is Hebrew. So I'm going to pray in English and in Hebrew. I can't pray in Tagalog, I'm not clever enough. So I'm going to let someone else pray in Tagalog, but I'm going to pray in English and in Hebrew, the language of the scripture. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of serving you. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you for these children and for this building and facility to take care of them, to feed them, and to teach them the gospel of Jesus. Every good thing comes from you. You are the source of every blessing, and you've blessed us. We rejoice in your goodness and your salvation and come before you with thanksgiving. Thank you for this property, Lord. Put your protective hand upon it in the name of the one who saved us, the Lord Jesus. <laughs> וגם כן לתת החדשות הטובות בשורה של ישוע אדוננו. אנא אדוני, תהגן את המקום הזה, ותברק את זה, ותשמור את זה, ותשמור על כל הילדים האלה בחסדיך גם אותנו. תודה אבא, אתה המקור של כל הברוכות. אנחנו מודים לך בשם ישוע המשיח אדוננו. אמן. Kami po ay uh, patuloy na nagpapasalamat sa inyo pong walang sawang pagpapadama ng inyo pong kabutihan sa bawat isa sa amin. Maraming salamat po sa uh, patuloy na ginagamit po ninyo sina Uncle Jacob Pras at uh, Brother David Mister ang Morial Ministries na siyang uh, patuloy na daan ng inyo pong biyaya na nakakarating uh, dito po sa amin uh, dito sa mga mahihirap na na bata na siyang nakakalasak o Diyos ng inyong pagmamahal at ng kanilang pagmamahal pinupuri ka namin nasalamatan ka namin sa inyong pong kabutihan marami salamat o Diyos kaya ang lahat po ito ay uh, ibinabalik po namin sa inyo ng lubos na pasasalamat Dalangin po namin ang lahat ng ito sa pangalan ni Christ Jesus na ay manunubos at tagapagintas. Amen. Amen.
If your mama asks you if you fed the poor, what are you gonna say? You gotta feed the poor. You must obey. If your papa asks you if you fed the poor, what are you gonna say?